Welcome to today's Spanish Classroom. My name is Oscar and today we're going to talk about different types of replication. Um, now there's pros and cons to all of them and some are best suited to disaster recovery service providers than others. Starting at the bottom of the stack we have storage based replication. It's by far the quickest, uh, the most effective and, and it's also a very reliable solution. But at the same time it's not cost effective, it's expensive um, to set up, it's expensive to own and your cloud service provider is unlikely to be able to share that storage with anyone else, which of course increases the cost. Um, as you move further up the stack, um, you get to the hypervisor level replication. Um, at this point, it starts to get cheaper and it becomes more cost effective. One thing to bear in mind is that at this level, you're likely to have to be running the same hypervisor on your side as a service provider would on, on their end. Uh, but hypervisor level replication is, is efficient, it can be fast and it allows you to prioritise groups of VMs according to the priorities assigned to them. Moving further up the stack, you have your VM level replication. Uh, by this point, it doesn't matter which hypervisor your cloud service provider is using. Um, it could be a mixture of many. The same software used at this level can also be used for physical servers. Um, so if you have a mixed environment, it works well and it means that you're able to recover all your machines with your DR service provider. So to sum things up, storage replication is effective but very costly. By this point it's getting a lot cheaper and economies of scale are taken into account so the cost comes down. This cost saving is then passed on to a customer so that a customer which in the past may not necessarily have been able to afford this type of DR service is now in a position to have a good DR plan.